Hi there everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're playing Peter's house. So let's get started. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah. I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Well, time to move some boxes. Yeah, we're in Peter's house. Oh, we can just open box. I don't think we're here to unpack. Damn it, dog. Can't leave yet. I need more. <laughs> Fine, but I wanted to go home. Why the door open on its own? No, never mind. It's fine. This is not the right... Okay. I think one says that it must go to the kitchen. Why is there a baby room with two crosses? Ah, oh, kitchen. Okay. Good. Good. Let's go. It says I'm gonna go to the kitchen. We're just casually moving boxes. My favorite part would be to unpack. I just like opening things. That's all. <laughs> What's with the music? I clearly don't have good taste. If this is the bathroom, where do you take a piss? And where do you shower? Does he have his toilets and all of that packed up? I don't get it. That goes to the living room, bathroom, bedroom. That's the back. Wait. There's two doors. This is outside. So we're not supposed to go that way. And this is. Okay, this is the bedroom. Because for sure he is not sleeping in the baby room in the crib. Is he? <laughs> that would just be weird. Close that door. Turn it off. Who said you could be on? Who said you could make any noise? I didn't allow it. Baby's bedroom. Where was the baby's bedroom? Oh, right here. This one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it. F. Blood on the knife. The betrayal of a friend, part one. I never should have told my friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue, but what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held? When he asked where she was, I casually replied, that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chances. The boy killed his friend. The trail of a friend part two. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his chest. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove another person who didn't belong in my world. That doesn't give you the right to kill him. We're just gonna put this box in the kitchen. I think we'll just leave this here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Dining room. This one, this one doesn't say where to place my I should open it. Another one with stuff in it. The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking so many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. The Snoop part 2. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed the heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. 
She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. My boy, if you think that was a victory, you should be in jail. Honestly, you should. How many more of these am I going to find? Oh, they're inside of each other. That's nice. We'll just put this here. Baby's bedroom. I don't understand why he keeps boxes of the things. Like, that's just more evidence, isn't it? Like, me now, obviously. You see, you don't know where to put the box. I open it. Casually, it's just like a journal telling you the whole story of what happened and an object from that person. Isn't that a bit strange? Why do I feel like that's strange? Is it just me? Maybe I should open it. Look, another one. Rings. Oh, the end of a marriage. Okay, this is the one of his wife, I guess. The one where he casually murdered her and buried her. Maybe in someone else's yard. I don't even know. Maybe in his own backyard and that's why he moved. She was stinking up the place. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking so loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats... What's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act holding the dog's ear in my hand like a trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. I would too. Who gives you the right, young boy? I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded how powerful I am. No, you're not. You think you have power. But honestly, you don't have power. You have nothing. I think I'm gonna take the other two and also just leave them here. Make it less obvious. Tell him I didn't know where they went. Maybe he can't even see that I removed the tape a little bit. Maybe it doesn't even matter. There, we got a row of boxes. I'm just making sure I put all of them on the right place. So he doesn't come at home and like, this movie is shit. He couldn't even put my bedroom boxes in my bedroom. He put them in the dining room. I don't got time for that. <laughs> All that work made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. How am I supposed to drink something? Mm, I bet he won't mind if I take some out of this juice. He's gonna kill me because I drank his juice. Why is all the doors closed? This door is locked. This door is locked. Yeah, mm, so nice. Please no. I don't want to. I want to go to the bathroom. This door is locked. Can I just stay in the kitchen, maybe? He's now so angry because I drank a bit of his juice. I can't handle this. He's gonna come up to me and kill me. What's it just the same thing over and over again? Can I go back? Yeah. Oh, good. I hear a phone ring. Can I get that, please? Oh, thank you. Why is it so dark in here? Shit, the light out. I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Okay. There, I can at least see where I'm heading. No, I'm not going that way no more. Where's the phone? I saw something standing there. Or is the table on the roof? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Can I leave? Oh, everything's... Mmm, there's a demonic presence. I don't know if the demon's in you or in your child. But I just wanted to let you know. Oh, this is his murdering room. Pick up. Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was to just move the damn boxes, not open it. Oh, crap, I'm dead. He shot me. It's not my fault you didn't write on them where they should have gone. You could have just faked it and I wrote kitchen or bedroom or toilet or something. How was I supposed to know? I wonder if you just leave the boxes and you don't open them if it changes anything. Or do they then gonna kill me for the juice? I don't know. I'm gonna try again, see if it changes anything. Okay, I'm back here where I left off. I just left these three boxes here. I didn't open them. So I'm gonna see if that changes anything now. Gotta have a drink. 
Okay, time to go. I don't see why he could kill me. Because I didn't do anything this time. But fine. What do you want from me? I see you've helped yourself to my special drink that wasn't intended for you, but I'm glad it worked. Hi! <laughs> Crap! Yeah, he shot me because I drank his juice. There's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. There's a smell inside. Oh well, that wasn't too bad. I quite enjoyed it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!